Hello, my name is Jameson. I'm Josh. And I'm Howard. <laughs> We're going to be going over the uh, TI-83 calculator and how you can solve your financial calculator problems using your TI-83. Um, Josh is going to start us off with finding out how to find the time value of money. Okay, here it goes. The question is, what is the accumulated sum of each of the following streams of payments? As we got 35 a year for 8 years compound annually at 7%. How are we going to find this? We got to go to applications. Then we got to go to finance. And uh, then we got to go to solver. For um, N is years. We'll put 8. Enter. For um, our percentage, which is IY, we'll put 7. Enter. Present value is zero, so we'll leave it as it is at zero. And um, our pay payments is on negative 35, so we just leave it as it is. So now we um, go on to back to applications. Make sure it's on future value when you go back. Oh, thank you, sir. All right, so we're going back to applications. Finance. And we're scrolling down to number six to find future value. We click enter, and we click enter, and our answer is three hundred fifty-nine point zero ninety-three. Thank you, said your own sucker. Okay, <laughs> so for the next problem, we're going to do um, a net present value problem. Okay, so we're going to want to clear out the calculator. So we're starting with the problem, which is the net present value uh, for two projects for the Kick and McDonald Corporation. Okay, so they're examining two capital budgeting problems with five year lives. The first project A is a replacement project, the second project B. It is project unrelated to current operations. Okay, so we're first going to calculate pro project A. So we go to applications, finance. We're going to go to net present value. Okay, so we have uh, three interest rates we can choose from. But because we are using, we are doing the replacement project, we go with the replacement decision. So we're going with 13% to put in there first. And then we're going to put in the initial outlay of negative $300,000, which is my salary for this video. Okay, so then you put a comma. And you're gonna put a bracket, okay? So then you're putting in the cash flows for every year. So we're starting with thirty thousand dollars. That's three hundred. That's three hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so thirty thousand dollars. Then forty thousand dollars, and then fifty thousand dollars. Then eighty. <laughs> and then hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Come on, <laughs> trying to concentrate. Okay. Jeez. Okay. So we put another bracket. That's the five-year life. And you're gonna hit enter. You're gonna get ninety-three. Thousand two hundred seventy six dollars twenty six cents. Ah, the net present value. I just a. Hey. <laughs> All right. Um. Thanks, Arnold. Um, You're welcome. Uh, project B. Uh, we have to look at the interest rate to use for that, which is projects unrelated to current operations, which down here is eighteen percent. So we're gonna go back to our apps, finance, and net present value, and this one we're gonna do eighteen percent. Comma. Initial outlay is four hundred fifty thousand. Comma. Second left bracket, and uh, two hundred thirty thousand for the first year. And since we have one hundred thirty thousand through all the way through year five, 
we're going to close this bracket and make it a little easier on ourselves so we don't have to type so many numbers. So we close the bracket, add a comma, and we're going to make a left bracket and do the frequency of how many times it, it appears. So we do 5 and then close the bracket. And that gives you $43,467.76. So you can see that Project A would be a better investment because it, uh, it's a higher number. And uh, that's pretty much all we had to show you guys. And uh, thanks for watching. Our thanks. Video. Had a good time. Bye. But on to the high. Bye.